Okay, this is a quick tutorial on how to draw in your own waveforms with an eye table. Or, yeah, with an eye table. Cool. So let's start off. We're going to make a buffer tilde. We're going to name it something. I'm going to name it window. We need to give it a size. I'm going to say, okay, size of 256. Now, the way that we're going to draw into our buffer tilde is that we're going to use an eye table. Now, a few things we need to set for our eye table, we're going to go in the inspector, and since our sample size of our buffer is 256, we're going to change the range and the size to 256. Great, now I can draw into my eye table, but there's no way that I can put it in here. The way that we're going to do that is we're going to use the poke tilde object, and I'm going to give it the argument that, that is the name of our buffer window. Uh, on the leftmost inlet, uh, we can put in the sample value that we want to write. On the middle inlet, we need to say that where we want to write that sample value. So what I want to do is at each index of my I table, I want to write whatever information is in here. So I can send in 0 to 255 over here and spit out each and every value as that specified uh, position. So to quickly read through that, I'm going to use the Uzi. Uh, ob object which is an object that sends out a flurry of bangs whenever I ask it to and it's going to send out a specified amount of bangs also which is very important so it's going to send out 256 bangs and I'm saying that okay I want you to start at a base of zero so that it gives me numbers that are going from zero to 255 so I can use the current index out outlet send that in here so it's going to send me all the uh, indices that I have requested for and the same um, information I'm going to send to where I want to write it because it's in the same place that I want to write things to. So I'm going to put a bang over here and now whatever I have drawn in here should reflect in the window and it doesn't. I get this weird looking waveform. And now that is because I'm sending values from 0 to 255 to my value to write and a buffer will only take in values. I mean, it not that it will only it'll take, it'll take in values more than 255 but as you see this will happen just goes out of range. So to bring that uh, between minus 1 and 1, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first divide it by 256. So that brings it in the range of 0 to 1, which is helpful, but not so helpful for us right now. Uh, so let's look at how that looks. Oh, look at that, more helpful. So let's draw something else. Great, amazing. So we have that, but we want it to be in the range of um, minus one and one. So for that, what we're going to do is we're first going to subtract by 0 0.5. So that brings it in the middle. And then we are going to multiply by two. And there you go. That's kind of what we drew over here. So that's all good but then every time that i draw in here i have to hit this bang and only then will it update uh, my um my buffer and i kind of don't want to do that that's too much work so very conveniently i table whenever you edit it uh it sends out a bang from the right inlet so i can use that to bang my uzi and now every time I make a change, I should see it reflected in here. Great, amazing, super helpful. Cool, so now we are drawing into our buffer. We are making our own um, custom waveforms, how we like them to be. Now we want to hear them back. So for that, we can use a wave tilde object. Uh, it's a wave sample player, so that's what they call it. And for an argument, we're going to give it the same argument of uh, our buffer. So now we can index our buffer with the wave tilde object. Now we want, to, uh, but we also want to read back at a specified frequency. So for that, we can use the phaser tilde because this just makes a ramp from zero to one. So it's going to read through the buffer from from zero to one at a specified frequency, and we can give the frequency over here. So let's say 237, that's a good number. Uh, let's listen to it. I'm gonna put a limit just so that I don't blow my ears out. A live dot gain. And, oh, there you go. Can you see the signal? And a DAC. I can already hear it because I'm in it all the way down. There you go. 
but that's our custom waveform. Now I can draw into it. And you can hear the timbre change. It's also always uh, helpful to filter this because it does sound a bit harsh. So I'm just going to put one pole in there. I don't know, two two thousand hertz. That should be good. There you go. So that's how you draw your own waveforms in Max. Now all this that I showed you can all be done with the new update with the table tilde object. So do the same thing. I can just say table tilde window and there I can draw into it. And this is basically a lookup table. It does the same thing. But yeah, that's how to write your own uh, custom waveforms in Max. Uh, if you want to save it, you just need to parameter uh, parameter mode enable. Yeah, you need to click this. And each time you take a snapshot, it's going to remember this. So if you close your patch and you bring it back up again, it will remember what you had drawn it before. Yeah, have fun.